Okay, so I have a lot to say about this, and I just felt like I needed to pop in and say hi. So, um, number one, you, me, we all are the word teachers, okay? We are all teachers, uh, education, learners, we are all it doesn't matter if you've ever been labeled a teacher, if you've ever gone to college and educated yourself to be a teacher. You are a teacher in learning and lessons. So um not sure if I could look up like the definition of the word teacher, but Google has gone it up above and beyond their National Appreciation Day, okay, for teachers. And um and I and I like the way that it's phrased, National Teacher Appreciation Day. But at the same time, I want you, I want you to understand you are a teacher. Regardless of what you think or believe, it is limiting if you do not think or believe that you are a teacher. Okay? So the limiting belief that keeps you thinking from thinking that you are a teacher is all this mess. Everything saying that, that's a school, that's what it looks like, and that's how it should look. Okay, no, that's not true. That's how our schools look right now. But that not all of them, and uh, definitely not a homeschool. So this is also a homeschool hello, okay? And um, I've known my whole life, even in high school. In high school, my teacher said the words that made me understand and truly get it. We are all teachers. We are all teachers, period, end of sentence. <laughs> I know there's more to it. And Jim Quick has it all over. I've, I've seen it. The evidence of, of what I'm trying to describe has been described better by, by other people. And Jim Quick was, is definitely one of them, I can say. Um, then uh, let's look up. I was about to type in the definition but we're having fun looking at this, right? Um, list of teacher's days. Oh, look at that. A list of teacher days. Let's look at all of them. Um, I think we're going to celebrate this on our own on our own terms. And just because we want everybody to be appreciated today. Um, I know that COVID has taught everybody a lot about teachers and uh, appreciating them and their place at work. Yes, the ones who have gone to college and spent their entire life's education, work, career, you know, everything on being a teacher, th they might have a little bit higher standard in your life. That doesn't mean that you are any less of a teacher. We're all teachers. There's just a certain amount of knowledge somebody went out of their way to gather and in a certain department so that they could teach that specific deal, you know, and then there's a basic teacher who, who has to teach each little lesson and they, they have too much <laughs> like me <laughs> to teach you. Um, uh, I don't know how I was explaining that. You know, I remember there, I don't know if it still exists. Somebody's school still does it. <laughs> they have a teacher that teaches the math and science at the same time. Maybe not, maybe not the same time, but this is where I'm going with this. Like, okay. You have one teacher who specifies in one category and that's that. They don't, they don't go and do a coach thing either. They don't do other extra. Okay. So what do you think about that teacher? I had a coach who was also, um, I don't know if that was English class or if it was, what the hell was the class? I want to say it was English class. Um, we did read chicken soup of the soul. <laughs> But yeah, teachers can be coaches and um, there's, they do everything. There's, there's a multitude of things that teachers can do. Okay. Um, let's see how much of this is going to go on. So, you know, when I Google, it ends. There's the end. Okay. <laughs> like, there's usually an end to this. Okay. Um, 
How do I get back to the search feature? Oh, wait. I did want to see that feature. What was it? Go back. News, deals, videos, greetings. Okay, no. I want definition. Um, I got to say hi to people I haven't seen in a year. Okay. I don't know how I accidentally pressed play just now. Definition. There we go. Teacher. A person who teaches, especially in a school. Okay. Get rid of that because that's not how dictionaries work. There's no especially anything. Okay. <laughs> but I get it. Um, they want to like <laughs> accentuate the fact that we're appreciating the teachers who are getting paid minimum wage or worse. And, um, definitely those things are a topic to talk about. And that's why when we speak on a topic, right, uh, we concentrate on what is more ignored right? The teachers in the school aren't getting treated right. They aren't getting paid right. And that's why the conversation goes in that direction. But here we go talking about everybody's a teacher. <laughs> so there is a big debate when somebody talks about one thing or all things. And the point being to bring out that concentration on the lack of in a certain category of all, right? I just want to make sure just because I'm here for you to educate yourself to grow more because this, this, this topic right here. Okay. Just being a teacher, you are a teacher. Everybody is a teacher. Um, because let's let's go straight into the movie Aquila and the Bee or how is that word um it's a spelling bee movie and the entire moral of the story is that everyone is your teacher your best friend has something to teach you your your brother has something to teach you your mother has something to teach you that substitute teacher has something to teach you there are so many aspects of what we have to educate on just your simple basic age one to five you is is proof and evidence that you are a teacher now this is another reason i go deep into how we all have a responsibility to be that teacher in some point or another you know and when you are hanging out in the park and you see a child and maybe you're playing with a child, maybe your kid's playing with that child. And there is a moment, there will be a moment when you actually have to speak up and educate that moment. And, and it, and maybe you don't, maybe you're doing it wrong. Maybe you're hovering, maybe you're being a helicopter parent, but there are also other aspects of helping kids learn truths and lies in their life. So somebody at home could be learning something they're not supposed to, something that's just not age appropriate. And for you to give that two second pass through in their life, there's still a purpose. There's still a purpose for your responsibility as just a, a human educator. Cause we all are in one way or another, we're going to affect someone's life. Even if we're just there for two seconds, you somehow, some way, maybe, um, you know, so simple, simple things like, okay, so kids that age aren't really allowed to have gum. Say your kid has gum and now they're confused. So now you're educating that, that other parents have choices to give certain kids what they want, what they don't, shouldn't have, you know, in these moments, it's, this is a horrible example because I can't really think of any great ones, but it's good enough that it's just like when you tell your kid you can't do something, but you're doing that one thing you're telling them they can't do. They don't understand it's an age appropriate thing, oh, but but like being able to convey that is a whole nother part of being that teacher, right? Um, when we when we teach our kids, like to tell them, okay, you can't be on your phone all day, but then you're on your phone all day. You're showing them a different example than what you're teaching them. And so this is another way we teach. We teach by example. 
just alone just by walking around the house you're teaching somebody something because they're observing and watching you so um let's get into some more definition process <laughs> profession so if you're looking at a profession that that's a good way to look at it overview types of teachers there we go everybody's a teacher here we go elementary school teachers middle school teachers that's what you're getting at there's special categories of teachers and then there's you you are your own special category a lifelong learner a lifelong educator oh my goodness i'm loving this there we go the cool teacher <laughs> see the cat lady She's a teacher too. See, it says it. The scary, the scary librarian. She's a teacher too. <laughs> uh, so we could create our own little meme that helps also appreciate the other kinds of teachers in our life that aren't just the actual teacher. See, I'm a life, personal life obsessed teacher. That's me. There we go. <laughs> the extremely old. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyways, I wanted to make sure that you knew you're a teacher too. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you in my life. And I appreciate your presence in this world. Because you have a place and a purpose and every person you come in at, into contact with is, is your responsibility. <laughs> and there is a huge debate on that too. Go ahead. Let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. Cause I seen it right here on, um, uh, where's the Twitch? I mean, not the Twitch. It's the, 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 the bird. There we go. Tw Twitter. They sound too much alike. <laughs> to me <laughs> there's Jim quick right there don't miss a thing thank you okay not now i'm good there's uh Jim quick national teacher day we appreciate you we appreciate you so much thank you for connecting 18 hours ago let's see what he's got um bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of branch breaking trust Trust. Trust. It's huge. <laughs> Spread your wings in your own trust. Hell yeah. That is so true. Oh my gosh. I love this. My, um, this is another reason I am going off on this teacher thing. My child has started to lose trust in this. Her own wings. She has... And she has proven to me, shown it to me, said the words to me, and it and it it irks me so hard inside because I have no clue <laughs> how to reconcile this this issue that we've created upon her. Um, perfectionism and helicopter parenting have turned her into not being able to trust her own ability to spread her wings. I something I was just asking her to do yesterday and she was just telling me I can't and then just like you haven't even tried you haven't even tried uh taking a step with your foot is is going moving one step farther that if, if I ask you to do that you don't tell me you can't so where do I help me with this? This is where, okay, now I'm making a rally cry for all these teachers in the world. Come help me figure out this, this issue that I've created in my own child because I educated incorrectly at some point or another. Something that we accumulatively, mom, dad, grandma, whoever's been in her life teaching her limitations this early in life that she doesn't this this she has no place for that right now at this age she should be jumping into the abyss of nothing and and just pray like this hope 
<laughs> this this <laughs> oh my god i'm just i i feel sad when i think about how life isn't just one or the other or just straightforward there's there's more to it and trust is a huge aspect of being able to move forward and try new things and be a part of things Um, what else? Okay, we were looking into, where were we going? We were going to go into, what did I come here for? Twitch, Twitter, Twitter. Okay, a basketball player. Is there like a place for my comments where I've always commented and stuff? Like stuff I've done. Oh my god. I don't know anything about what it just said, but I want to look at my tweets and replies and get into that. So, there was a person that had posted exactly what we are talking about, right? They said, I'm not your role model. Don't look up to me, right? Something like that. And I've heard this argument since being in high school. And and you can go ahead. take For a minute, go ahead and take their side. Until you really dive deep. Dive deep into how limiting and selfish and just ignorant the comment really is. Because if you wanted to be famous at one point or another, and you got it, what was the real point of being famous? You know, um, did you have any other intentions and goals? Okay, maybe that makes sense to why you think that you're not a role model, um, or someone to be looked up upon. Um, let's see if I can find it though. <laughs> it's definitely older than all this stuff. I never found Joe Rogan. I still, I'm still like behind on this Joe Rogan stuff. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah, I definitely can actually read some of this stuff. And see if I got any replies to some of this. Nobody replied to that comment. <laughs> oh my gosh, this lady was amazing. I got lost in her pages. Martha Wash. She is a teacher for sure. We should appreciate her today. She's a very good teacher. You start, cl click this lady right here. And, oh wait, whatever lady's doing the interview thing. She's cool too. I meant the lady doing this little educational clip. Where is her? But they knew they needed a powerful singer to deliver the hook. Rumor has it they wanted either Shaka Khan or a singer named Jocelyn Brown, whose vocal had already been illegally sampled in this song. But they eventually... We gotta appreciate her, too. You know, like, I like that Missy Elliott um, didn't give credit and nobody threw a fit about it. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I had to uh, Google this woman. 
on myself and just go look her up. I'm glad that TikTok does it for you so that when somebody so great forgets to credit you in this little clip and there you can still be found. So it's okay. It's okay. We don't have to get mad at Missy for missing out on the credit because how is she supposed to credit somebody she doesn't even know? You know, like TikTok, you can't just at somebody at TikTok here on Twitter. Maybe that's what Elon Musk wants to do. Make it to where you can cross over your ads. <laughs> it's just not going to work. <laughs> but <laughs> I get it. it. It's hard to credit someone when it's a whole nother service profile. But I'm glad that TikTok does it for you. That made me happy because it made me realize, okay, when people forget to give you credit or just didn't have the time to figure it out because it surely is a lot of work. Um, what was his name? Um, I don't really comment on this Hey, I don't remember tweeting this much. <laughs> That's all I'm getting at. I'm like, okay. Are we only in January? <laughs> okay. K Hood, is this it? I wish I'd put my pride at the side. Oh, yeah, that, that conversation. Okay. Um, where is this conversation? Teaching. We're still talking about that. <laughs> There's a lot of teaching here. It's everywhere. It's all the time. Oh, this one's funny. Oh, my gosh. That's so weird. No. No. I feel sand in my eyes. Okay. Let's, um, I'm pretty sure it's definitely older than all this Tiffany Haddish obsession day. I went on a I went on a big jam that day. <laughs> I get lost. Uh, okay. Okay, that's just me. So where's the comet? You be a role model. Other people are allowed to live their life how they want. Yeah, okay. This is the conversation, I think. So. Does not align. Okay. Here it is. This is the, definitely the conversation. I don't know if there's more to it from before this, right? Okay. Replying to. So let's go up to the actual topic. I'm not a role model, okay? Now everybody can really come back at the same conversation we had back in November. Kevin Durant doesn't think he's a role model. Okay. Now, what conversation do you want to have when it comes to National Teacher Appreciation Day on uh, Kevin Durant? Is he a teacher to you? Have you learned something from him? 
let's tell them all about it. Hey, dude, National Appreciation Day. You did this for me. You told me this. You taught me this. Everybody blast that shit right now because then he will see National Teacher Appreciation Day saw him and thought, you are my role model for this, that, or the other reason. And that is why I consider you a teacher enough to appreciate you today. Let's appreciate Kevin Durant today. Woohoo! Clap hands. I can't clap my hands because I'm holding. <laughs> but let's do it. Okay, I'm posting this now. Uh, we found it. We found the answer. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, you are. You don't have a choice. Kids all over the country look up to you. Okay, I get that conversation. That was the original version of that conversation. Who can view their tweets? I agree that that doesn't mean he isn't a role model. It just means he shouldn't be. Okay, that makes sense too. But he is and that's regardless all of us are just because he's a star basketball player whatever he is whoever he is got a little blue sticker you know from the twitter police you know all the things and doesn't mean doesn't mean that you are less of a role model we are all a role model we are all teachers we're all the things regardless of what our career choice is so doesn't mean he isn't a role model. just means he shouldn't be. Okay, so that's where we come into, there will always be a teacher who should not be. <laughs> there will always be a teacher that should not be, right? That is a truth that we do have to deal with this in this world. And that is why I believe we should all start realizing how much we are educators teachers role models and important to somebody else and have a self-responsibility to hold that standard so that we aren't considered the should not be's because yes even seventh heaven has touched on the topic of a shitty ass teacher who called the girl stupid or called her names or treated her like garbage, okay? So those people exist out there. We've seen it on the news. Some lady in a daycare dragging a kid by their arm across the room just to force them to wash their hands or some stupid shit. You know, like those people have lost their damn minds and their limit of what they know how to cope with and their skills in life that they weren't taught as children on their own have made them to where they should not be, right? But if they were willing, willing to work on this education of learning that we are all responsible for each other in this world, that is the truth. We are here that we have been told this since we were children. We are here to make this world better. And every day we make something better is still our future, is still part of who, what we do here on this planet is to continue to make the planet better to that's why we we talked about recycling when we were kids and we've promoted it so much that we now we don't even have a plastic bag in california i mean we do but you have to pay for it and so just don't so that way you just recycle more recycle more and all the things being able to really see that you are a speck of sand in this universe in this world just just planet earth is big enough for us to not even need to, to to expand to how the universe we we are we are less than a speck of sand when it comes to the actual universe you know but the the planet earth has more than enough going on people animals and everything that's here we are still a tiny little speck of beach sand like probably still smaller than that like it's that big of a place and we miss out on how big how many people are here in it we will force responsibilities on celebrities i'm sorry <laughs> you you are just as responsible as that celebrity it doesn't mean 
that just because they're a celebrity, we're forcing it. No, they chose to be a celebrity. They, they went out of their way to get that place. You wish you were there too, don't you? you? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you love not being known. Maybe you love being the tiny invisible piece of sand in this world. But we, I believe, all humans in this world are role models for the new generation age is not a factor there's an 11 year old teaching my five-year-old in my neighborhood duh that's what a tutor is peer education we are all teachers and we teach you that and then you still ignore the words they have taught you everything you needed to know in school but we ignore these highlighted pieces that will come back to you later like this is coming back to me right i've learned this here, there, down the world, little specks along my life in little crumbs. They've been sprinkled throughout my life. Uh, at age 5, age 10, you know, age 12, okay. These things have popped up. This conversation has been had. And just because Twitter came out and started the new conversation all over again doesn't mean that it really doesn't mean that that is the the conversation. Oh, there it was had in November, and that's that. No, we've been done had this conversation a long as time ago, and I'm sure that was had a long time before that. I mean, you what do you think happened the day they were like, let's put all these kids in that building and call it a school? You know that day exists, right? Like you want to go into some history, go find out about that day. How many were there? How, how? What was happening? It's not written down, is it? Is it? Is it really? Do we really know the day the guy Webster started making a dick? That he just sat down and started writing his book. And everybody just was like, okay, that guy knows our English language. So let's all listen to him. When? Huh? What? Do we have this conversation? This conversation needs to be had. What day? Let's walk Let's walk through that day in history. History Channel, the way America was made, the way America was built. All these, co- these cool little shows showing how McDonald's and, and all the guys who invent that day. That day, the pizza man invented the pizza. He was reading a newspaper. The shit existed in Italy was not called pizza. Okay, I'm just saying. Watch the show. Learn your history. And realize that we actually don't have history on everything. And maybe we do, maybe we don't. But this is a conversation. A real one. A real one to get deep in dive to. You know, and... <laughs> when did I say I cussed? We all have a result. <laughs> it's like this conversation happened before the next comment. <laughs> that makes sense to me. This is not the topic. (laughs) Well, that's as much as I'm allowed to see. So you go find this comment. November 21st. Uh, Did I comment on the actual day he commented it? Yeah. He just said, I'm not a role model. Okay. It's a classy post. Kids that look up to you. Okay. This one. I think is where I saw, I saw this and then I was like, oh, let me see what, what's the prior conversation, you know, I'm about to put, what? (laughs) Okay. See, I was missing context when I commented. (laughs) I was just commenting on the fact that he said he's not a role model you are a role model and there's nothing you can do about it because you chose that career you knew what you were getting into and literally was probably child impressioned and taught to want that that whole time like your whole life Yes, that is outrageous. I wouldn't have that face too because 
I was like, who said he needed to be doing that? That is outrageous. Hmm. He just needed some time to practice and thought, I'll do it all over town. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's back when everybody was talking about those ashy legs. That's sad. No, I remember that now. Okay, no. You're so rude. You don't have to be rude. <laughs> it might be funny, but it's rude. Okay, so that is a 30 minute conversation on National Teachers Appreciation Day and. <laughs> no, you're all shut your mouth. <laughs> That's too much. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even. I trust me. I am not the person who autocorrects words, but that was too easy. Okay. <laughs> Wants to continue a selfish cycle of drama? In her, in his, her opinion. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am. I am something else. <laughs> Still added two cents to who you are in this world. Somebody influenced you to be a basketball star, and you wanted it so bad. Like, it's okay that you don't want to be a role model, but you have a responsibility to understanding that you are one because you chose the career you chose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, this is off topic. Now it's in back into my regular tweets. Okay. She needs to remake this Mary and maybe it's not Mary only because there is more than one woman from the uh what's it called what did I just say in there back to the future I want back to the future to come back with at least three at least just minimum right just a minimum of three but I wanted to be all the women Mary Sheen and um Elizabeth they could they could totally it's just the two of them build an entire back to the future story of a trilogy it would be amazing because the women of ghostbusters are doing it so the women of star of, of back to the future not star wars. we could do star wars too get the women on top right now get them in here and do this okay off topic sorry threw on that last because <laughs> because i forgot but yes this Kevin Durant comment didn't make it on the Kevin Durant feed <laughs> so nobody saw this at all I just never realized it it took me that was December okay so it wasn't even supposed to be that so it's a whole nother conversation I'm confused is it a whole nother year was it a year from one conversation to the other <laughs> no November to December I'm not counting right I'm counting backwards <laughs> I just thought that, like, they put your old stuff down here and your new stuff up here or vice versa. I guess I was confused. See, there's a lot. I see some December comments and some November comments all mixed up. That's what it was. I was late to the conversation in the first place. <laughs> okay. See y'all later. Bye. Happy National Teachers Appreciation Day. How do I end this thing?
<laughs> I gotta end it. <laughs>